Colts fans, not going to lie, man. This might be one of the worst feelings I have ever been in as a Colts fan. Might be one of the worst feelings I've ever been in. That loss that we just took to the Tennessee Titans is unacceptable. Unacceptable. There is no way you can tell me after all those chances, you can't put up at least six points to win. You can't even put up three, a field goal. You can't even kick a field goal to win the game. Is that what you're telling me? You did your job. The assignment was to contain Derrick Henry. Kudos to you. 28 carries and 68 yards is pretty freaking impressive. The first team to do that all year was the Indianapolis Colts. But you forgot to do something. Win the game. Ryan Tannehill. 23 for 33. 265, three touchdowns and two, and two interceptions. He gave you two of them. He got sacked three times. People asked, where's the fourth Buckner? He showed up. Hurricane Dio. He made his appearance. Quiddy Pay was there. Teray made a sack. Grover Stewart, the defensive line, they looked a little decent. But the run game, they stopped all of that. Now, A.J. Brown, of course, he got his yards. We don't, work, we don't care about that. We knew that was going to happen anyway. We knew that was going to happen. But the fact is, the offense for the Indianapolis Colts is disrespectful. It is. It really is. Carson Wentz went out there and threw 51 passes. 51 passes? Are you kidding me? Is this a knock on Carson? No, because I think he's a good quarterback. We know what Carson's going to do. He's a 50-50 player. He's going to give you good. He's going to give you bad. Simple as that. Like when he threw the pick six. The game was over at that point. I, I just knew we were going to lose. Now, most people said, you should have took the safety, which would, which would have been smart. Because we wound up driving down the field and scoring off a wildcat play that we didn't see all day. Another thing that the offense didn't do. Run the football. Is that not the agenda in Indianapolis? You have the second best running back in the NFL. Yes, he is better than Dalvin Cook. But you have him in the NFL, the second best. And you're telling me he only can touch the ball 16 times? Is, is, that, is, that, is that normal for a, a, top th a top two running back in the NFL? 16 carries in a very pivotal game? I don't think that's normal. Let me ask Derrick Henry. Hey, Derrick Henry, if you're struggling, would, would you not get the football? Even if you can get four yards per carry, would you not be the one touching the football? Derrick Henry only has 68 yards, but still touched it 28 times. Mike Verbal knows the assignment. Give him the football. So what's the what's not clicking? What's not clicking in Indianapolis to give Taylor the ball? I don't understand. Taylor has 70 yards off 16 carries. That's a better game than Derrick Henry already. He got more yards with less touches. He could have had 200 running yards this game. He could have had 200 rushing yards. Easy. Food. Why is he not getting the ball? I don't understand. This is the third game this happened this week, this year. Third, three games in a row where he get, does not get the ball in crucial moments. Someone has to help me understand. Something is not working in that organization. Something's not clicking. We should we we know Colts social media, even their Twitter account, is run the football. Why are we not doing that? The passing game. Michael Pittman Jr. Big play after big play. Even Carson Wentz scrambles for first. Even though it was gutsy. He did fumble one of them, but we recovered. But Michael Pittman Jr. makes big plays. Why is he not getting more touches? You tried to throw the football to Doolin 20 times and he didn't catch it. I love Doolin, but he did not catch the football. This I don't get it. Pascal. Pascal was there, the most reliable receiver on the Colts roster. He made a few plays, but he dropped a few too. Marley Cox, he dropped a few passes. Jack Doyle scored. Why did he get some of those passes? It's like we went away from what was working. It just doesn't add up with me, man.
Naheem Hines can do both. Receive and run. If if Duel is not doing that, send Hines down there. Maybe he might catch it. Send him down there. That's that's one of the things. It just doesn't make sense. Kiki Kuti, who had a nice game, his first meeting, he never even stepped on the field. What did you pick him up for? Mike Strong, pretty solid, pretty decent preseason. I feel like he could have caught some of those balls that Dula didn't catch. Just as simple as that. Simple. Rocky Sin had a, a good game. Darius Leonard, good Kenny Moore, flipping Derrick Henry. Good game. The defense is not the excuse. We have to get away from that. The defense was not the reason we lost this game. We asked the defense to make a stop, and they made plenty of stops. Now, did they get a six out of it? No. Could have been nice, but because the offense wasn't going to get a six. But the defense did what they had to do. They understood what was at stake here. And the fact that they went out there and gave it their all, even though it wasn't their best, they did what they had to do. We're down a safety in Julian Blackman and George Odom, a guy who we raved for to see the field more. And he wanted to see the field more. He was out there. I've seen him running around the field. Sendejo, not the best safety that we got out there, but he did pretty decent. The corners was not the issue. The middle of the field, we know that's open. It's Swiss cheese every week. We know that. It doesn't understand. We, we get that. But the offense is the sole reason why we lost this game. The game plan is not to throw 50 passes. It's not. There's no Colts fan that's going to agree with that. Some people may say, oh, fire you. Yeah, all right, we get it. That's It's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. We understand. But he was not the reason we lost this game. We asked for pressure. They sent some. They made a bunch of big plays, and the offense just could not get us any points, man. It's, it's disgusting. We had two chances in overtime. Two. How do you get two chances in overtime when all you need is three? How do you do that? How? The Titans did not want to win today. They did not want to win. They literally showed you they didn't want to win. Tannehill was not as impressive as we thought. I thought he was going to die himself, but he didn't. I thought Derrick Henry was going to kill us, but he didn't. The Colts lost to the Colts. Now our playoff chances are not even existing at this moment. I would have took a tie at this point. Our chances are shot. A team that's rising that needs to take another step to being better than what we already are, chances are shot because you couldn't convert to running the football. But that's why we lost, because we couldn't run the football. You wanted a guy in Carson Wentz who's banged up, who just came back from, he's pretty much healthier than he was before. You're asking him to throw 50 passes, but then when he throws a pick, everybody's shocked. Why is he shocked? Oh, why are you throwing it away? Why are you not throwing it out of bounds? Why are you not playing safe? Because he's probably tired. 51 passes? He's not Tom Brady. He's not Aaron Rodgers. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How you think this game went? What do you think the Colts need to do? I'm going to keep bringing this up until something gets fixed. We're going to keep talking about this. So this probably won't be the last time I bring something up like this. But this was unacceptable. This loss was unacceptable. Like I said, we deserve better. We deserve better, man.